Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today I'm going to show you guys something that I think is extremely awesome and been highly requested, and that is the hybrid compressed cannon. So this thing is an absolute beast. It's like a normal compressor cannon, which is a beast in itself, but it has got a hybrid variant which is, makes it extremely awesome and one of the most deadly cannons in Minecraft. So a compressor cannon is essentially just a cannon that fires a big bulk of TNT in a deadly straight accurate line that can blow up obsidian in one big go. So this this thing essentially takes it to a whole new level and fires it off with sand. So that way you can hit this thing dead on to the side of a base. It could be a big fat obsidian base with 10 walls or something and you could just completely obliterate it. But anyway, let's give credit where credit is due and this thing was made by Ignition Burst which helped me with the original compressor cannon. And this thing is pretty much the same, I just compressed it a little bit and made it look a little bit nicer and that's why we have this extra line of repeaters on the side. So this thing is actually really awesome and took a lot of time to make. So if you want to check out his channel, it'll be in the description below and the link to its video will be in the description below too. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing in action. Okay guys, so if we just pretend this wall here is just a massive wall on Obsidian Faction Base, it is actually just one really tiny wall for just an example, but imagine it's made of obsidian and all that and it's just a giant wall that has tons of water and on like a faction server. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to have on a faction server. So, we've got our cannon here, which has three major switches. So, if we have both of these on here, which we have our sand switch, and we have our main switch, and we have our TNT switch, and our main switch just fires all the TNT here. Fires the TNT at the back, fires the TNT here, does all that. Then we've got our TNT switch on the side, which is pretty general and self-explanatory. It fires those two dispensers, which fire out something like 16 TNT. And then we have this sand switch here, which activates the sand cannon or hybrid cannon mode. So if we have just this activated, then it is just a sand cannon. If we have them both activated, then it is called scatter mode or hybrid cannon mode. So a hybrid cannon is pretty much just where you fire sand, TNT inside of sand, so therefore you can destroy water or places where water would be, which is extremely useful for faction servers and even some things on survival. So, what we have here is to get this thing to successfully work, we need to have this or the block below it equal in line here. So we want it, the sand to be at the height of here. So what we want to do to start off with is we want to fire off some sand into the thing, but we don't want, we want to fire scatter mode after we have that. So what I mean by that is that we need to turn this off, press this switch so only sand gets placed on a block. So as we can see the sand's here, so now when the TNT hits here, it'll be level here. So now if we come back here and flip up the switch, because we have some signs here explaining that, and press the button here, we can see that TNT is released. Sand, sand is then pushed down, and as you can see, the TNT's inside of it, and it just causes a hole in here. And then if you come in here, you can get all your diamonds, chest, all the magic things that you would get on factions. So that is pretty awesome, and it's pretty awesome that it can work like this. It's not like, it gets rid of pretty much all the problems that the hybrid cannons has. Uh, half the hybrid cannons, they fire a sand way up in the air. They have lots of bugs, but this one is just really awesome and has been really revised. So a big shout out to Ignition Burst for that, and as I said earlier, his links will be in the description below. But anyway, now on to the tutorial. <laughs> Okay guys, so to start this tutorial off, you're going to need a massive 9x12 area, with the iron representing where you're going to be putting the redstone, and the gold representing where the barrel slash cannon is going to be. So you're going to need some building blocks, 3 slabs, 25 dispensers, 2 pistons, 1 button, 28 redstone, 28 redstone repeaters, redstone comparator, a water source block, and some more trivial things like TNT and sand and a sticky, two sticky pistons and two levers if you want to toggle the sand and you want to toggle the TNT. So one other thing before I start this tutorial is this is really expensive. So unless you have the money to make this on factions, I would rather just go something like a simple hybrid cannon. But if you have the money and you're actually going for a big raid, I would highly recommend this. But anyway, let's see how we properly build it. So to start off with, we're going to build the cannon slash barrel bit, and we're going to be building it in this little gold piece here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your back, and you want to place down a dispenser in front of you and on the side of you. Then you want to place a block here and here and go around behind you and place down your button. Next thing you want to do is you want to place down five redstone just for convenience. 
Then you want to place some blocks here so no water seeps out. And then you want to place a dispenser and a 2x5 grid on either side like so. And this is going to be your main bulk of the cannon that lets you fire it massively. And also the recommended like where you fire it is between 10 and 120 blocks and it still works like up to 300 blocks. It just fires deadly straight and deadly in line for up to around 100 blocks. But anyway, now that you've built this bit, you want to go around here and you just want to place another block here and here. You want to place a block here with two more dispensers on top of it. And then you want to place down three slabs at the end. And then you want to make like a little cover around the back here. And then this is where sand is going to be sitting, so you don't need to fill this bit up, but you do need to make like a cover around it. So after you've done that, you've pretty much made your actual cannon bit. And now on to the next piece. Okay guys, for the next bit we want to add the redstone to fire off these main cannons and the, these main cannons too. But before we do that, we want to place some water here. And these are made pretty much the similar, except one major difference is where you start to place the repeaters. So, and the redstone. So for this example, you want this one to go down the front here, and you want the other one to go down the side there. Then you just want to place down your repeaters on the side like so, with redstone behind them. And then for this, you want to place a redstone repeater here and redstone here. While for this one, you want to have redstone going out here with a redstone repeater here. Then you want to have your repeaters going out the side here with redstone behind them. And there you go, now you've got your wiring for the main compartment. So the next part we're going to be building is we're going to be building the thing that fires off the 16 TNT here. So what we want to do is we want to come around the back here, we want to place up a little bit of scaffolding here or just some blocks to place it and a block here so it doesn't interfere with any of the redstone. So you want to place some redstone there, you, then you want to place down five redstone repeaters. All of them set to four ticks delay except the very back one which is set to three ticks delay. Then you want to place your redstone comparator up here, right click it so it's in subtraction mode. Then you want to place your redstone around the side here. And then finally you want to place a block here with redstone on top of it. And this is also why you have the block here, so if we didn't have that here, the redstone would go down there. So that is just to block the signal. So the next bit we're going to be building is the actual sand cannon bit, and this is the thing that uses a lot of repeaters, and I mean a lot of repeaters. So the first thing you want to do is you want to place a block here and here, then you want to come up to this little bit and place down your pistons on the back there, so that way you can get your sand out and place down your sand in just a little stack. You can technically have it as high as you want, even up to build limit, but for now we're just going to have it like that. Next thing you want to do is you want to place a block just under it like so, and blocks here with a block here. So now that you have that built, you can place down two redstone repairs on behind them, set to vortex delay with redstone going down the side like this. Then the next bit here is just all repeaters. So you want to place down a block there, then you want to set redstone repeaters just going around in this little angle, all set to vortex delay like so. And this is what creates the super long delay that actually causes the TNT to fire off. So now that you've built this, you're pretty much done. So now that we have done this, we have pretty much built the whole entire cannon and you actually have got a working compressor hybrid cannon. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add the toggling switches. So after you fill this with TNT, you have technically got a working cannon. But if you want to take it one step further, they'll make it a lot more convenient. All you have to do is place down a block here with a sticky piston behind it with another block behind it. Then you want to place a block up here with a lever on top so that way you can toggle it. So when we have it down, it won't fire and when we have it up, it will fire. And that's because it is cutting off the redstone by blocking it. The next thing we want to do is we want to come over here and we just want to place some scaffolding like so and then destroy these two blocks, place a sticky piston under it, and then we can either place the block beside it, but for now we're just going to leave it on top and place down a lever. And when it is down, it is going to be on, and when it is up, it is going to be off. So there you go guys, you've got a working hybrid compressor cannon, so good job for that, this thing would take forever to build. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did like it, please hit that like button, and if you want to see two videos a week on TNT related stuff, then hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified as soon as you get, as soon as I upload a video. But anyway, goodbye from TNT Magic.